morning, guys. Have you been in here all night? Did I go down? Let's see if I go all the way down. If it's not, no. Oh. This way. Like that or? Ready, Chad. Getting some video footage. I was doing this exercise thing. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so here we are out here um, with Chad and uh, he's biking, I'm running and we're, he's going for two, two and a half miles today. Um, we're doing great so far. Um, he got a new seat so now his unmentionables don't hurt. <laughs> Which is super important man. Like the most important thing I've discovered about biking is if your lower extremities are uncomfortable, it's a terrible experience. Terrible experience. And Chad knows firsthand, so. Yes, I think, it really, I, really I, hurts. <laughs> and I think the new seat's helping, right? Yes, so it's helping very well. All right, all right. So, no more chode pain, <laughs> which is A plus, and, uh, and we're getting our exercise on. It's hot today, it's muggy, yeah, so. Very hot out. But we're pushing for two and a half miles, and I think we're gonna do it, no problem. And Chad's biking like a madman. He's got me running at a fast pace. And I'm a little sweaty already. So It's good for him. It is good for me. Very good for me. So we're here in a few. We're going to continue our, our little journey through town, our big town of Fairbury. And, and uh, we'll see you guys in a few. My buddy Chad is rocking it today. He's got me running seven and a half pace. And he just blew past me and took off. This is working for him. I'm happy for him. Proud of him. He's doing great. Look how far ahead he is. And I'm going seven and a half minute mile. He's wearing me out. Seven fourteen pace. And he's just cooking. He is right way up there. I'm doing a 714. My goodness. He's in beast mode. Makes me happy. Dude, I'm doing a 715. <laughs> Holy cow. Sorry. Okay. Woo. We are out here on the black trail. Chad, like, I don't know what he did. He ate some Wheaties or something along the way, and he went full beast mode. Had me running at a 7.15 pace, 7.14 pace, and he was two blocks ahead of me. So, I mean, naturally he's on wheels, but this, I mean, this guy was struggling on his bike just a couple days ago, and now he's full beast mode. I don't know what he had for breakfast, but it was spinach or something. But uh, we're out here, we went, we've already done over two miles. Actually, we've done, because we had that half a mile, so we're almost three miles right now. Real close to three miles right now. Man, he, you're gonna be over three miles, dude. That's awesome, that's what I want. Yeah, this, Chad has got it going today. And uh, man, coming down this bike trail, I didn't know if I was gonna make it. He had me going 714 pace, I was spent. It's good for me though. We're pushing each other, that's fantastic, that's great. So we're gonna, here in a little bit, we're gonna finish up this, this bike and this run and uh, Having a good run day and a good bike day. I'm having a fantastic day. How about you? I'm having an awesome day. I hope I do this again tomorrow and Saturday or Friday. And then tomorrow is his weigh-in at his doctor, and we see how much weight he lost. But I'm, I guarantee you've lost, definitely lost weight. You can tell you've lost weight, and especially with this biking and the seat. The seat is, that's a magic seat. Yes, it's, it's a very magic seat. It's a magic seat. I was doing horrible yesterday, and the day before, I'm doing awesome today. Yeah, good job, man, good job. So we're gonna finish this up here in a few, and we will see you guys in a little bit. Okay, 
we're both exhausted, beyond tired. Um, Chad had me running at like a seven something minute mile. He was biking, he did four and a half miles on his bike, which he set a goal this morning. When he got here, he said, eventually I want to do four miles. That was this morning when we left. He said, he, he, he bypassed his goal today. He set the goal this morning, bypassed it today, went four and a half miles. And naturally I run more than four and a half miles usually, but today, <laughs> today was different because I was doing about a 7.10 pace for the, this distance and it's, oh. So, if you don't believe that a guy who just started exercising can really push a guy who's been exercising, you'd be wrong. Because I'm exhausted and he's exhausted and I'm sweaty and I probably smell like the back end of a rhino. But, how you feeling, Ted? Tired. Feel good though, right? Oh, I feel awesome. It's a good exercise. Very good, very, very good exercise. He was we in... even raced the last two and a half yeah. blocks. Yep. He, well, okay, this was Chad's hair blend idea. He said, all right, I got, I got an idea. And I said, oh, okay. And usually when Chad's got an idea, it's usually a doozy. And he says, all right, so pick a road. So I picked, I picked the furthest, well, first of all, I picked the closest road. But then when he said we was gonna race, I changed my mind. And he gave me a bit of a head, he gave me a block head start. And then we raced to see who got to my house first. Barely, barely did I beat him. Just barely, he was right behind me. But it was, it was a good exercise. We pushed each other today. We, we, we were exhausted and we're sweaty and we had a great exercise. Chad's doing awesome. I, I'm blown away by the fact that he set a goal this morning and he's already bypassed that goal. That's, most people don't do that, so. Okay, tomorrow I'm gonna hit for five. Five miles. I'm gonna try. I'm biking with him tomorrow. I can't keep up with him. I'll be on my bike. All right, guys, that is today's run and exercise, and Chad's full beast mode already today and tomorrow. I hope I can keep up with him tomorrow. He's, the, he's got the magic bike seat, and I don't know what he ate for breakfast, like jalapenos and his Wheaties or something. I don't know what, but we'll see you guys later. Bye.